Hello guys, thank you for joining me on this video. I would like to uh, uh, demonstrate uh, this application that I'm displaying right now. It's uh, it's called Image Sorter, uh, and it and it does that. It takes a, a series of a bunch of images that you might have in a repository, and it sorts it out by uh, the, the the color on the image. Uh, it is no longer being developed. I uh, tried to reach the uh, point of contact on the uh, application. I was I came across it as one of those uh, download repositories that, that download freeware applications. Um, I did click on the link here, but it 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 uh, it, it redirects to uh, pixelution.org domain, and I'm not 100% sure that that organization is the same one for this domain and i might have to go and and look at that uh and then uh, again i think this is Persev kai uvi uh barthel uh from berlin i uh, hope i'm not butchering up his name too bad i'm gonna try to see if i can get a hold of him see if there's any contact information uh on that person and then try to see and follow up with this application what i'd like to see is see if 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 he would if he would release this into an open source type uh, community where they can continue to develop this application um, so with that uh, I would like to show you guys some uh, examples and how I was using it uh, I'm in the middle of testing uh, methods of using this tool to help me uh, organize uh, some of the uh, labeling efforts that I have with my current projects and one of them is um, uh, I'm building my own model that detects people and when I go in here to these images that I selected uh, this is just an example where I had a video from from uh, people from France uh, in, in Europe uh, I have one minute a segment of video and it extracted all the frames and then I went in and did the labeling for the head, face, eyes, nose, mouth and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this application does so I selected all the bounded boxes into, in, in, into individual images and this, this program is going to read all those images and it's going to start reading all the images and put it into this window here, this dialog uh, box here and once it loads all the images it sorts them out by their colors and you can see here that it sorted them out you know all for this particular individual here the nose uh, here is the eyes uh, here is the uh, the right eye of the person this is the left eye of the person the mouth and then the head some uh, handheld devices uh, full persons so you can see how this organizes how I'm planning to use this is um, now that I have these bounding boxes and I'm actually using machine learning to do it is that uh, I might consider using this to create some kind of templates and actually use computer vision to help with identifying uh, people and uh, objects uh, for my other video sequence that I have um, but I definitely wanted to show this application. So one of the other things that it has here is the ability to search for images. Um, and it has some kind of uh, uh, filters that you can use. Uh, the file types, if they're JPEGs, uh, PNGs, the uh, size of the files. If you're looking for a specific color. For orientation, this is a portrait or landscape. Uh, but one feature that I'm uh, very interested in seeing here uh, especially if if I was to have a, a large data set here right now I only have 849 images but let's say if I had uh, um, selected other people from other regions is to be able to filter out some of those uh, uh, images uh, to isolate it right for example let's say if I was to be focusing on the nose uh, I can go in here and select this individual images here. Uh, I can also use the control key on the keyboard to deselect them. But you can see this white bound here. I can zoom in here and you can see this white bounding on here. I selected that. 
uh, I can hold the shift button and and I could create a window to select multiple images within my selection and what uh, what I can do as well is I can right click on this and actually move the selected images to to segregate each of the images into different folders now given that that I had um, created bounding boxes and extracted this image this is just an example but you can imagine if I had computer vision with with use either some kind of templates maybe cascades or a template uh, matching and put create its own bounding box or not you know not necessarily go through the process of creating bounding box but uh, identifying it and then actually pushing all these different boxes into into different folders for example if I'm focusing on the nose uh, I can later use this tool to see everything in there uh, all at one time and hand pick images that don't match a nose right uh, or segregate them further right by color if I'm, if I'm doing somebody from for example from Africa versus somebody in South America versus somebody in Europe somebody in North America and, and so forth right so I'll be able to select those images and see those images and, and, and further segregate them so the other the other thing that again this has a, f a visual filter here uh, let's say if I just wanted to focus on the nose I can get uh, um, uh, how will I say this um, uh, Uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Uh, let me go back in here and uh, I'm going to do clear selection and I'm going to drag. Let's say I'm going to I'm going to select this one image and I can put it in here and then get a couple of more in here as an examples. And then I could do a search based on this. And again, to me, this search image is is similar to. Uh, if you use OpenCV uh, template matching uh, and what it'll do is again it'll load all the images in that folder and it'll do a template match on those uh, based on color or however whatever, whatever uh, methods it uses and then it'll select all of them for you here as you can see it's it's all within that nose uh, sometimes uh, it'll you know it'll select others so you have, again y you can click on individual images and once you select them you can have them move them to a specific folder that you're holding everything together so this application looks great I think it looks good I, I, I'm gonna try to go and reach out to the con to the developer and hopefully I'll be able to reach out to them if not, uh, maybe I'll venture in and to redevelop this application uh, and, and, and try to develop it to a point where, where it does similar. There are other applications that does similar, but I haven't seen it done this as a standalone application. So if you like this video, you like this demonstration, you'd like to see more, uh, please subscribe to my, to my channels or to my blogs and uh, let, give me your feedback I, one, so one thing that I forgot to mention earlier before I uh, attempted to end the video was how to find this application the way I came across this application I was actually doing a Google search and one of the things that you can do is uh, do a Google search and search for image sorter uh, put this V as for version 4.3.1 and search for beta and again there's several repositories I think a lot of the repositories that have these applications are freeware repository uh, where they have freeware applications and uh, like I mentioned earlier I, I tried to go to this website on the info about uh, but the, the domain does not exist anymore this email I try to email it it doesn't exist anymore because the domain is a redirect domain and so the email account does not work so um, give it a try do a search uh, I'm not going to distribute this application I just I 
you know the application still exists out there and i was just uh, bringing it up to hopefully if you do have a similar application that you would like to let me know uh just uh, send me a message or uh join me in my blog thank you My machine learning blog may not own some of the content presented.